Welcome back to Audience, a Castos original experience, broadcasting from the center of your audio universe, where subscription podcasters find their home at castos.com. Press play right here in your podcast player every week. It's like a cheat sheet for marketing, monetizing, growing your podcast. So good, you want to share castos.com slash audience with your closest friends. Okay, Audience starts now. Today, I'd like to talk about creating your own subscription podcast without the middleman taking a cut of your revenue. Before we get too far down the blueprint for monetizing your podcast, there are some hard requirements I'm mentioning in today's episode. Number one, you must be okay with starting a free Stripe account. Number two, you're using Castos to host your subscription podcast feed or feeds. You'll hear that in a moment. And three, a little bit of a bonus. If you want to make other automation magic happen, I also recommend you check out a free Zapier account. All the links will be in the episode details. Why start a subscription podcast over advertising? What's your knee-jerk reaction when you hear that the average podcast ad rates are $25 per 1,000 downloads? It's $25 per 1,000 downloads. If you're like most of us, your podcast is barely hitting 500 downloads per episode. You can't even buy a cup of coffee, let alone that new Porsche you've wanted. Most advertisers are looking for the largest audience possible, not the most valuable audience possible, but that's a topic for a different podcast. When it comes to earning revenue, if you're a brand new podcaster or a veteran podcaster with a niche audience, going by industry standard advertising isn't going to make you rich. Then there's the quality and experience factor. Don't even get me started on automated ad insertion from larger ad networks or other podcast hosting companies. Not only are we giving up control of the ad quality, it's an abrasive experience for the listener. Besides, a 2020 report from Nielsen shows that host-read ads perform better anyway. If you're going to do ads, you might as well sell them direct yourself and then read them yourself on the show. Again, a different podcast for a different day. Subscription podcasts at Castos versus the world. I rarely thank Apple for much in podcasting these days, sans the start of podcasting, but I am thankful that this $2.6 trillion company decided to compete with us. It's crazy, right? We're going through yet another defining moment for content creators. Just like Facebook and others encroached on our blog traffic some years ago, big audio businesses are doing the same to our podcasts. Apple offers subscription podcasts through their platform at 30% cuts and a $29 annual fee for the icing on the cake. Uh, But the kicker, you have to manage your podcast on their website. The content is only available to listeners using Apple Podcast apps, and that's no fun. As a creator, you're suffocating your total possible reach. Apple is making my case for me. Subscriptions at Castos, number one, we don't take a 30% cut. Each podcast hosting plan has a set of private subscribers. Number two, you can create as many private subscription podcasts as you want. Mix and match, one, two, a thousand, it doesn't matter. Number three, listeners can access the content on Apple or Google devices using our free Castos mobile app or their favorite podcast app. I should have listed a number four, which is you can also connect this up to your WordPress site and serve up your private podcast that way. Let's get back to that tug of war for your content. We're building a subscription podcast system that podcasters will love. While Apple and others want you to exist exclusively in their platform with their fees and their algorithm, Castos is building a subscription platform that allows you to be anywhere and everywhere. What type of subscription podcasts work best? So here's the thing. There are no rules in podcasting, for better or worse. Monetize as you see fit. If you want to run ads plus have a premium subscription podcast, go for it. I say however you can monetize your show is good enough for me. It's a lot of work to get to where you are. I'm not going to hold you back. We also recently released the value for value uh, field in our podcasting. So if you want to get paid in Bitcoin, you can do that too. Okay. Some subscription podcast ideas to get you started. Number one, an ad-free premium podcast. Number two, a members only or exclusive content podcast. Number three, courses or a premium series of education. Number four, audiobooks. Number five, coaching. If you can upload it, you can sell it. And that is the important part. A subscription podcast doesn't have to be an extension of your podcast or highly produced. 
You're taking a collection of audio and putting it into a podcast feed to sell as a one-time fee or through a recurring payment. You can be as creative as you want with subscription podcasts at Castos. Want to sell an audiobook? No problem. Create training series for members for your online community? Really easy. An audio feed for each client? I have customers that do that. Send them our free audio app with only your audio in it for free. Stripe as the payment processor. We recently launched native integration with Stripe. You can find it in our automations engine inside your dashboard. Along with our ConvertKit integration, the foundation to growing and monetizing your show is starting to come together here at Castos. Connecting Stripe to our automations engine means that as soon as a customer buys your product, we send them access to your subscription podcast to the email they use to purchase. Remember, you can set up as many plans as you want in Stripe and connect it to any private podcast in your Castos account. Handy if you want to have a few options of audio content to sell or a different tier of access. At the top of the show, I mentioned the bonus for using Zapier. If you've never heard of Zapier, it's a freemium service that acts as the glue between apps on the internet. If you want to send customer information to a CRM or another email provider like MailChimp, you can do that with Zapier. Check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash castos, for more ideas. Stripe produces a checkout link, a typical URL that you find on the web that you can place anywhere your visitors are headed, on your Castos website, on your WordPress website, in your weekly newsletter, in your Twitter bio. You get the picture. Stripe makes it easy to sell a subscription podcast now that Castos integrates with it natively. Combine that with our free mobile app, and diehard podcasters should love our solution more than Patreon or especially Apple. Is starting a subscription podcast right for you? I think building out your own subscription podcast is a fantastic idea. If you are the following podcaster, you have premium content people want, you have an existing members-only product for your brand, you sell physical or digital goods and you want to augment that experience, you want to sell access to your podcast and not even provide a public one. Of course, like everything else, it will take some rolling up the sleeves, some hard work. You've heard me say it over and over, a successful podcast relies on all of the other things that surround it. The unique premise, the content, the promotion especially the promotion. The easy route is to go back and throw your podcast in an advertising algorithm. You won't have to think about it or work hard to sell your thing, but you'll also get paid the least, $25 for every 1,000 downloads, if you're lucky. Your subscription podcast success will rely heavily on your ability to create something someone wants or sees the value in supporting you as an independent creator and your marketing chops. How good are you at identifying the right audience to promote to? For me, it's putting the control and the creative back into my hands with no middleman. That's why I love podcasting, and that's why I love subscription podcasts at Castos. But hey, I know I'm biased. I work here. Start a free trial, check it out for yourself at castos.com, or email me with any questions you have about starting your subscription podcast at hello at castos.com. Hey there, listener, it's Matt. Before you go, I want to offer you, the aspiring podcaster, two special items. Number one, if you haven't started a podcast yet or you want to find a better podcast hosting company, start here at Castos. Use our coupon code AUDIENCE20, that's AUDIENCE20, when you sign up for a new account at castos.com. Start a podcast like the one you just heard or about gluten-free muffins, whatever it is, will help you get your podcast out into the world. Number two, did you know that our Academy is free? Enroll today for free at academy.castos.com. Get access to our courses, videos, and templates all for free. Thanks for listening to the audience podcast today. We hope we're helping you become a better podcaster. All that's left for you to do is share this episode on social media. Bye for now.